Topology is the study of abstract spaces. You may know some examples of interesting spaces, things like spheres, tori, Mobius strips, Klein bottles. But there's so much more out there, including non-Euclidean spaces of dimension three or higher than three. How do you make sense of that? Well, we do. We just do. And it's beautiful. It is so achingly beautiful. I think topology is just the most beautiful branch of mathematics I have ever seen. The crystalline abstraction of form and pure clarity of space. Well then, beauty walks hand in hand with utility, as in all of mathematics, topology included. Topology is rich with applications in lots of areas, from dynamical systems and networks to robotics, neuroscience, and much more. But the most obvious applications are to data. Topological data analysis, or TDA, uses topology to characterize data based on its qualitative shape or form. How does this work? Well, a better definition of topology is the study of abstract spaces and their equivalences. It's the study of when two different looking spaces are really the same. Let's say I've got a data set. What is it really? It's a set of points, maybe sampled from some interesting space. What kind of space is it? Or maybe I've run an experiment twice and I've got two different looking data sets. Are they the same? Are they provably different? This, the determination of when spaces are fundamentally equivalent or inequivalent, is the focus of algebraic topology. What's that you say? Algebra? Yes. Algebra is the topologist's secret weapon. Algebraic invariants help characterize equivalent topological objects, and this sets the stage for topological data analysis. Topological methods are especially relevant in problems where the data is nonlinear. What does that mean? Everyone starts off learning about linear regression in statistics, and this is useful locally, but we need to go from linear to nonlinear, from local to global. And that is what algebraic topology was invented to do. That is what we're going to cover in this series. The tools, techniques, and applications of topology to data. Now, there are some prerequisites for this series. You don't have to be a graduate student. Undergraduate students are well suited to this topic. You don't even need to be a student if you like learning. What you do need is courage. Mathematics is hard, no matter who you are. You can do it, but bring courage with you. You're also going to need patience. It takes time and effort to learn anything well, mathematics especially. Think of how long you spent preparing for and then learning calculus, for example. Calculus? Oh, yeah. You should probably have had some multivariable calculus, though it's not entirely necessary. What is more important to have had as part of your background is linear algebra. Since we will be using that language liberally, make sure you review vector spaces, including subspaces and quotients, as well as linear transformations, their kernels, their ranks. You don't need more abstract algebra, at least not for the approach we're using. Eventually, you may be motivated to learn more. But for now, linear algebra, that's totally fine. You might also want a little analysis. We'll be using the language of functions and continuity, including terms such as homeomorphism or metric space. If you've not seen these ideas before, you may want to do a little prep work first. We may make some background videos later to help with this, depending on what the audience most needs. We're going to see how it goes. Why? Because this is an experiment. This is an experimental video text. It is not and cannot be a full reference for the subject. But there is a written version. See the book In Progress by Vidit Nanda and myself. Use this video text as motivation and inspiration. So, 
Good luck to you about to embark on a delightful journey learning the foundations of topological data analysis. And good luck to us making these videos as well.